Imagine waking up one day without warning. Your life as you know it comes to an end. You are forcibly removed from your home, family, and land and forced into involuntary slavery. Those in your immediate vicinity are beaten for disobedience, while others become ill and some even die. You and those who look like you are chained, starved, and abused, and forced to do backbreaking labor for no compensation, day in, day out. It is difficult to picture something like this happening nowadays, but it happened all the time in many communities, including ours, for thousands of years. The slave trade was a very popular means to get free labor, especially in the Americas. The young woman we are talking about today has a similar narrative to the one shared previously, but her life took an unexpected turn. Escrava Anastasia was a black female slave who lived in Brazil during the 19th century. Nobody knows where she came from or who she was, although there are several hypotheses about who she was and where she came from. Regardless of where she began, her life underwent several twists and turns due to her status as a unique individual in her time. She stood out for a variety of reasons, but the mask and collar she was forced to wear throughout her life were the most prominent. Following her untimely death, the legacy she left behind inspired many of her fellow slaves and Anastasia has been venerated as a Brazilian saint for generations. But what was her origin? The beginning of Escrava Anastasia's life has been shrouded in obscurity for a long time. People have come up with a few different hypotheses as to how she ended up where she did, despite the fact that no one has established an exact date of birth or even the country in which she was born. One of the most popular theories is that Anastasia was born of royalty. Many believe she was a member of an African royal family before being enslaved and taken to Brazil. Remembered as a very beautiful woman with an Amazonian statue and piercing blue eyes, she was born on the 5th of March, around the first half of the 19th century. Her mother Delminda was a black woman from the Bantu tribe. We will look at the Bantu tribe in detail in our future videos. Please stay tuned to this channel by subscribing now and enable notification so you don't miss any of our future uploads. Subscription is free, just click the red button down below. She was believed to be from the royal family of Galanga, all of whom were sold in a slave ship to Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. Delminda was raped by a white owner and was sold to Joaquina Pompeo while pregnant with Anastasia. Escrava Anastasia was one of the first black female slaves to be born with blue eyes. She grew up to be incredibly beautiful, with everyone on the plantation stunned to see a pretty black girl with blue eyes. In an act of jealousy, the white woman asked the owner's son, Joaquin Antonio, to make her wear a heavy iron collar and a muzzle on her face, rendering her unable to speak. She stoically endured the slave marks for the rest of her life and treated everyone with a calm demeanor, kindness, and love. The unimaginable pain from the marks would later turn out to be her iconic symbol of martyrdom. So why was she treated this way? There are many variations of the reasons for her inhuman treatment, all of which mention Anastasia as being very cruelly treated and raped by her owner. The stories vary from the white woman's sheer jealousy of Anastasia's beauty or aiding the escape of other slaves, to stealing sugar or simply resisting her master's sexual advances. After many years of suffering and cruelty, the beautiful woman died of tetanus caused by the iron collar. It is believed that before she died, she cured her master's son of a serious illness and forgave them for the harsh treatment they gave her. The owner posthumously manumitted her, renouncing her slave status, and she was buried in a slave cemetery in Rio. Her remains were in the church of Rosario, but sadly they were lost in a house fire. Escrava Anastasia is remembered as a symbol of compassion and forgiveness. 
nurses, prisoners, and the ill pray to her, and today she has a place of worship in Vas Lobo in Rio. There are believed to be active petitions urging Rome to canonize her as Saint Anastasia of Rio. Coincidentally, her name Anastasia derives from an ancient Greek word which means resurrection. So what is your thought on this? Let me know your thoughts in comment section. For other history stories about Nigeria, please check the playlist here. Don't forget to like this video and share with friends and family on social media. Subscribe to our channel and enable notification so you don't miss any future updates. Thank you very much for watching.